Hi, I was just wondering if you would be able to confirm if the attached Grumbacher Finest I bought online are in fact legit vintage, please. I am a newbie to watercolors and I can't seem to find any reference images on the web if these are in fact your old labels for your finest lines. I got this at a very cheap price, less than 2 USD per tube, but was just curious if these are authentic Grumbackers and when were these manufactured by any chance? Hoping to hear from you soon. Hi, I'm Ronald, and today we will be unboxing, swatching, and creating a color chart for this quote-unquote vintage watercolor paints that I purchased online. I have been browsing through the Shopee app for the past few weeks now, scouting for a professional or artist-grade watercolor that's, that's within my budget. Now, just a quick disclaimer. I am not a professional artist, I never had any formal lessons of sorts with arts and I even took BS Accountancy as a course in college. So everything I say here is basically on a newbie or hobbyist perspective. Yes, I do arts as a hobby, although I do accept commissions for from, from time to time, but this isn't my bread and butter if you may ask. Now, I found this posting on the app of a Grumbacker's Finest watercolor, which is a professional grade of paints from the mentioned American brand. And I got curious since they are selling 16ml tubes at 80 Philippine peso or 70 wholesale price, which is roughly less than 2 US dollars. It caught my attention because most of the tubes sold on the app are 5 mLs and would cost you around 150 pesos to 300 and and above which is 3 to 6 US dollars. So 16 mL versus 5 mL that's 3 times the volume. But now the question, um, is it legit or is it fake? Uh, I still place the order anyway regardless of um, if it's fake or not. They only got a few tubes left around the time I purchased this, so I just bought the last nine tubes that were uh, that they were selling that time. And by few, I mean limited colors as well. It didn't have any blues. All I mean, all I got are a couple of reds and yellows to compose for that solid primary colors. The closest color to a blue that I got was indigo. Um, had I placed the order a week earlier, there was a chance that I had got um, I had gotten the cobalt blue and ultramarine that was available that time. And yes, I did hesitate. It's been on my cart for over two weeks before I actually placed uh, the order. And in fairness to the seller, he she was very kind enough and very accommodating. They were the first ones who reached out to me and DM'd me asking if I was aware that the product is an old stock and that some tubes have dents on it, etc, etc. And I replied yes since it was mentioned on the product description. So. More red points for good customer service for doing that. Also, they informed me ahead that I'd be receiving freebies, so I got two extra 16ml tubes. Um, I ordered nine and received 11 tubes of 16ml. Now, if you're interested, I will be linking the Shopee store on the description, but the last time I checked, uh, I was the one who purchased the last few stocks and the product is now unlisted although they they do still have other vintage paints and brushes available on their store 
Now, the main reason I'm doing this swatching and color chart is because most of the artists here on YouTube are doing this when they buy new sets of paints. But no, but seriously, I actually was eager to know what colors I may be able to produce if I mix these few colors that I got. Luckily, I was pretty much happy and satisfied with the outcome. The paints still have that uh, good flow. I I'm not sure what what to call it and I got a combination of vi vibrant and darker color values although I really didn't have a nice shade of blue I did have this light blue but on the gray side when I mixed the indigo with the Chinese white the colors that I got uh, by the way are Chinese white um, phthalo yellow green Indian yellow cadmium yellow medium and deep two tubes of um, vermilion light thalo crimson which i assumed was rebranded on their website as quin quinacridone rose then cadmium red medium and also indigo and and the last one is baby's gray yep and these are a combination of single pigment and multiple pigmented colors. But now the question, is this authentic, um, legit vintage Grumbach or finest watercolor? So what I did, um, even before the items got delivered to me, I sent an email with the photos um, to the um, official website of um, the Grumbachers official website and then found a customer service email address there and then sent an email but as of this recording I haven't received any reply yet and then I also sent a message to their official Instagram page and luckily I got a reply and this was our conversation. Hi, I was just wondering if you would be able to confirm if the attached Grumbacker finest I bought online are in fact legit vintage please. I am a newbie to watercolors and I can't seem to find any reference images on the web if these are in fact your old labels for your finest lines. I got this at a very cheap price, less than 2 USD per tube but was just curious if these are authentic Grumbackers and when were these manufactured by any chance. Hoping to hear from you soon. And then they went back. Um, these are definitely in much older packaging, um, that's for sure. Let me check in with my team and see what I can find out for you. Thanks for sending these photos. I should have an answer for you tomorrow. Stay tuned, Pam. And then they be, went back to me the next day saying, those are all Grumbacher finest tubes of watercolor. We have photos of the same tube circa 1982, although it's difficult to date the tubes in his photo to, to an exact year. Hope this helps. And then I also asked back if when was the last time this packaging were, were used. And then they said they were going to be checking in with their technical director. But since then, I haven't um, received any updates since that last in, uh, message. Even before I received that confirmation, I was already convinced that the tubes are really legit vintage and authentic from the finest lines. What I didn't expect is that there may be a chance that these tubes are older than me and I'm not sure if it's really good that I tried to use the paints given that these are in fact vintage. Although I found another posting, a similar post on eBay selling these same paints at 45 US dollars for six tubes, which is around 2000 plus in Philippine peso. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Um, please do leave a like comment share and if it wouldn't be too much to ask please do subscribe if not done already and i guess that would be it for now 
see you on my next video. Thanks. Bye.